As a teenager, I always had a hard time with rules. Math is full of them, so naturally it makes sense to try to avoid another where possible, especially when it looks like this. Ah. So let's say you had a function that was made up of the division of two functions, like this. Now, if you wanted to find the derivative of this function, the quotient rule is helpful, if you can remember it. I always have a hard time remembering the order, and it matters since we are subtracting. This rule says the derivative of the top function times the bottom function minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom function all over the bottom function squared. Whew. But we can sidestep this process entirely using two other derivative rules you've already learned, unless you haven't learned them yet, in which case it is probably better to just use the quotient rule, but I digress. The key here is using an old exponent trick of yesteryear. Recall that for an expression like b over a, we can bring the a up next to the numerator and raise it to the power of negative 1. And this rule holds regardless of the exponent in the denominator. So how is this helpful? Well, we can use that old exponent trick to take the expression in the denominator of our function and bring it up next to the numerator. Because we already have an expression in the numerator, we now have a product of two functions, as opposed to a quotient. So, at this point, you have successfully dodged the quotient rule, and you can feel free to carry on and differentiate this expression using the product rule. Now, the product rule says, find the derivative of the first function, multiply by the second function, and then add the first function, multiplied by the derivative of the second function. Still a pretty complex process, but not as bad as the quotient rule. Applying this process results in the derivative of the first function, which is 2x, multiplied by the second function, which stays as it appears in the original expression. We then add the first function as it appears in the original expression, and we multiply by the derivative of the second function, which in this case is a bit tricky because we now have a chain rule situation. Now this is because there is an exponent on the outside of a set of brackets with a function on the inside. Now the chain rule tells me I need to take this negative 2, bring it down in front of the 3x plus 1 to the power of negative 2, and subtract 1 from the previous exponent. In this case that produces a new exponent of negative 3. We then go inside the brackets and multiply by the derivative of what we see there. In this case the derivative of 3x plus 1 is 3. So after applying the product rule and the chain rule, but not the quotient rule, we arrive at this monster of a derivative. Now, I won't go over how to simplify this expression in this video, but if you do, you will get the same result as if you applied the quotient rule. You can apply this process to any function that is the quotient of two other functions to never use the quotient rule again.